Welcome to episode 200 of Getting Rich. I'm your host, Rich Checkin, President of Asset Strategies International, and today is Wednesday, November 13th, 2024. Today, I am coming to you live from South Beach in Miami, Florida. Uh, as you can tell from the surf in the background and the wind blowing the camera around, uh, I'm here for the 28th Annual President's Week uh, Investment and Asset Protection Conference uh, sponsored by Joel Nagel. Uh, outside of a master class on asset protection by Joel and, and some comments on gold by myself, we had a wide range of incredible speakers uh, ranging from Porter Stansberry who talked about his permanent portfolio, Buck Sexton talked about the results of the election and the implications going forward. Uh, we heard from Key Bank in Belize. Uh, we heard about second residences and passports and offshore real estate. Uh, a whole bunch of topics covered in a really uh, um, full uh, treatment to all the investment and asset protection op options available to you. Uh, hopefully we can get some of uh, our listeners down to uh, next year's 29th Annual uh, President's Week Conference. Um, this morning, uh, President uh, Biden has uh, invited President-elect Trump to the White House to discuss a peaceful transition. Uh, since the election, uh, there has been no peace uh, for gold and silver. We've seen a, a big pullback in both precious metals since the election, uh, since gold hit a new all-time high on November 1st. Uh, we've seen an unwinding of the pre-election hedge, and we've seen some profit-taking, of course. We've also seen uh, some diversion of assets into cryptocurrency as well as the stock market, and most of that is going to run its course, I think, fairly quickly. We fully expect this to be short-lived. Why do we say that? Well, as we all know, uh, a Trump administration uh, portends uh, inflationary tariffs, tax cuts, and lowering, lower borrowing costs, which should all add fuel to the fire for gold and silver's pricing. Let's take a look at the prices over the past week, because they have come down significantly. Gold is down 4.1% to 2608.40 an ounce. It was 2721.10 last week. Silver's down 3.8% to $31 and a penny. Uh, it was down, it was uh, at $32.24 last week. Uh, platinum is down 4.2% to $9.56 an ounce. It was $998 an ounce last week. And the big loser this week was palladium down 10% uh, to $9.72 an ounce. Last week it stood at $1,080. Uh, with gold falling a little further than silver, it's going to take less ounces of silver to buy that one ounce of gold. Uh, so your gold-silver ratio sits at 84.11. Last week it was 84.40. And the dollar has flexed its, flexed its muscles slightly over the past week. It's up to 105.98 on the index. It was 104.92 last week. Uh, as I mentioned, this is our 200th uh, episode of Getting Rich. Thank you all for watching. Uh, and I mentioned last week we'd have a little bit of a, a, a prize uh, or a contest. So in this case, what we're having is uh, for everyone that uh, joins our YouTube channel, uh, basically subscribes to our YouTube channel and leaves a comment about today's episode of Getting Rich, uh, you're going to be entered into a drawing for none other than $200 to be applied to our website for any precious metals that you might want to purchase. So go ahead and subscribe, leave your comments and questions. As always, we'd like you to go ahead and uh, follow us on our social media, take our twice weekly Always Something Interesting alerts and our once monthly information line newsletter. Uh, but in the end, don't ever forget, getting rich starts with keeping what's yours.